in this video I am going to explain one important property of imaginary roots of polynomial equations with the real coefficients. For a quadratic equation with the real coefficients, if alpha plus i beta is a root, alpha minus i beta also will be a root. That means complex roots, imaginary roots occur in pairs. Alpha plus i beta is a solution, then alpha minus i beta also will be a solution. Now let us see complex conjugate root theorem. For a polynomial equations with the real coefficients, if z0 is a root, its conjugate z0 bar also will be a solution. z0 is a solution, then its conjugate also will be a solution. Now let us see the proof. Polynomial in x, a n x n plus a n minus 1 x raised to n minus 1 etc then a1x plus a0 is equal to 0. So this is a polynomial equation. Suppose z0 is a solution for this polynomial equation. z0 is a root. So wherever x is there you substitute z0. So z0 is satisfying this equation. Our aim is to show that its conjugate also will satisfy. So now let us see, where there is x, you write the conjugate of z0, so z0 dash bar. Now wherever x is there, you write z0 conjugate. Then this is a real coefficient. So for a real number, if you take the conjugate, there is no change. So an can be written as an bar. Because for example, 5. If you take the conjugate of that, again it will be 5 because 5 can be written as 5 plus 0i. Its conjugate will be 5 minus 0i. So there is no change. So this is uh, uh, an can be written as an conjugate. Now, here you can apply a property. See, z0 conjugate raised to n can be written as z raised to set 0 raised to n then conjugate you have seen that property already so set 0 conjugate raised to n is set here taking the conjugate then raising to the power here first it raising to the power n and then taking the conjugate so that you can apply here 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 sum of the conjugate here this can be written like this First to find the sum, then take the conjugate. Then a n set 0 raised to n plus a n minus 1 set 0 raised to n minus 1 etc. a n set 0 that is here. That is 0. So 0 then this conjugate. Conjugate of 0 is 0. So for this x when we substitute z0 conjugate you are getting 0. So z0 is a root for this solution, uh, root for this equation, polynomial equation. Then z0 conjugate also will be a solution. So complex roots occur in pairs. That's a, that's a complex conjugate root theorem. If z, uh, the theorem is, if z0 is a root of a polynomial equation with real coefficients, its conjugate that is z0 conjugate also will be a root of the polynomial equation.